Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. Lately on my channel, I've been doing a lot of live streaming, and I've also been trying to up the quality of my video to 1440 and 4K. And so I was really happy to see that Logitech now has a 4K webcam. So I'm going to be reviewing this webcam from a digital artist on YouTube point of view. How is this helping improve the quality of my live streams and my art tutorials? So let's go ahead and get started with the basic key features of the Logitech Brio. First of all, as I mentioned earlier, it shoots video in 4K. If you don't know the difference between 4K and 1440p and 1080p, basically 4K is just a lot clearer of a picture. There's a lot more pixels, so you can see a lot more detail. The webcam that I was using before in my live streams was also a Logitech webcam. It was the C930E, and it topped out at 1080p resolution. So this 4K webcam is a huge jump in picture quality between the two webcams. Now currently my webcam is outputting at 4K, but the video itself is actually recording at 1440, so I have a little bit of headroom, I have a little bit of extra pixels, and when they condense down smaller it still makes the image nice and sharp and nice and clear. So even if I use this webcam to live stream at 1080p resolution, the image is still going to look a lot clearer than if I was using a webcam like the C930E, which maxes out at 1080. The next big feature of the Logitech Brio is that it has Right Light 3, which will balance out the exposure in your shot, and it helps you get a nice balance between light and dark, whether you're in a dark environment or a light environment or a backlit environment. It's going to adjust the picture and the lighting so that you're going to look good no matter what. I'm actually using the Logitech Brio to shoot this video right now, and as you can see behind me, I have some artwork that I created. What I'm doing is I'm using a chroma key on my webcam to remove the background. The background normally would just be a green screen, but because the image that the Brio captures is so clear, the green screen works really well to cut out all the little edges around my hair and all that stuff, and it gives me a really good effect. If frames per second matter to you, in 4K output mode, it maxes out at 30 frames per second, but you can record at 60 frames per second at 1080p resolution. Capturing your video at 60 frames per second means that when you move your hands really fast, the movement's going to be nice and natural and not very blurry. So it's kind of a trade-off. If you shoot at a lower resolution like 1080, you can capture at 60 frames per second, but if you use the higher resolutions, then you're limited to 30. There is infrared facial recognition, so if you want to use Windows Hello, Windows can just look at your face through the webcam, pretty creepy, huh? And look and see that that's you, and it'll log you onto your computer without having to type in a password. I don't like that, and so I'm not using Windows Hello, I'll just use my password, that's fine. If you're concerned about privacy like I am, there's also a little cover that goes over your webcam. I just closed it there, and it's just a little hood that drops down, and you can have your privacy if you leave your webcam set up all the time. You can also zoom up to five times, so if you want to get really close into your face so people can see up your nose or something like that, you can do that. But otherwise, you know, you can just kind of frame your shot in the way you want. There's also multiple fields of view, 65 degrees, 78 degrees, and 90 degrees, so you can get kind of a wide-angle shot of you in your office, or you can get really tight up close on your face and somewhere kind of in between. I'm using the kind of in-between shot right now, and I feel like that works pretty well to get my head and then a little bit of my body. Now as far as how this camera connects to your computer, of course it uses USB, but this particular camera requires you to use USB 3.0 because the image quality is so great, it takes a lot of data, and so you need a USB 3.0 port at a minimum. Now when I was plugging this in, at first I couldn't get it to work properly, and the first few USB ports I tried were kind of buggy and the camera wasn't working, but eventually I tried a few different USB ports and I settled on one that worked perfectly. Now that's not something that's necessarily a problem for the webcam, it's something to do with my motherboard and I've had issues with other devices as well, but I'll just throw that tip out there in case you plug yours in and it isn't working exactly like it should. Try a different USB port and make sure that it's a USB 3.0 port. The Logitech Brio also has pretty decent audio quality. It has a built-in dual omnidirectional microphone with noise cancellation, and this is what it actually sounds like while you're recording with it. So those are the key features of the Logitech Brio. Let's talk a little bit about some of the details. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like coming out of the box here. The camera itself is 4 inches wide by 1 inch tall and 1 inch deep, and it weighs 2.2 ounces. It attaches to your computer with this little Brio clip thing. It's really just kind of a little grippy mouth thing that kind of bites onto the top of your tablet or your screen. As far as the operating system requirements, it works on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and also Mac OS X 10.7 or higher. 
Now I will mention that in order to use the highest resolution 4K, you have to be using a USB 3.0 port. So that means that you need to be using Windows 8 or later because Windows 7 does not support USB 3.0. So as you can see here, it includes a USB 3.0 cable that's a type C and it's a pretty decent length. It's not too short. There's also a little pouch that you can put your camera in so it doesn't get scratched. If you want to mount this camera to a tripod, there's a standard tripod thread underneath. You just have to take off the little clip that you use to hook it to your monitor and it's right underneath and you can thread it into a standard tripod shoe and mount it to a tripod. So I've had a chance to use this for recording videos like this and I've also used it a little bit for live streaming. And I have to say I'm very impressed with this camera in both applications. This even just as a camera to use for recording videos is spectacular because I'm getting this nice chroma key green screen effect right now and I don't have to take this video, put it into something like Premiere Pro and then apply the green screen to it. The video quality is good enough to green screen automatically without me having to do anything. I'd get slightly better quality in the details around my hair and stuff like that if I did it in Premiere Pro, but this is good enough for this use and definitely good enough for live streaming. So I'm really happy with the 4K video quality. That's definitely working as promised. The quality is much, much, much clearer than the quality that I was getting with the C930E. Being able to live stream in 60 frames per second in 1080 resolution is also a nice bonus. I've only tested it for live streaming with OBS Studio, but it does work really well with OBS Studio. In fact, that's what I'm using to record this video right now. And I'm getting that nice chroma key effect and the resolution is really nice and crisp. I'm able to adjust the camera within OBS or I can use the Logitech camera settings app. So those are the things that I like about this camera, but to be fair, I wanna talk about some of the things that I feel could use some improvement. First of all, the beef that I have with all Logitech cameras is that they don't save your settings. So each time I turn this camera off or each time I close OBS Studio, I have to go in and I have to do whatever changes I have to do to it. Let's say set the focus or set the exposure or set the white balance. Each of those things have to be done over and over and over again each time I stream. Now, in all fairness, people might use this webcam with their laptop and they might be in a lot of different lighting environments. And so there are auto settings that work really well for people who aren't picky about their shots. But for somebody like me who always wants the same shot each time and I have the same lights in the same position, I would really like it if there was a way to save presets within the camera. Maybe that's something that Logitech will do in the future. I really, really hope they do. My next gripe is that the Logitech Brio is missing the tilt mechanism that was found in the C930E and the C920. See how I can kind of tilt this up and down, which is a lot easier. With the Brio, you have to adjust it like this and kind of clip it and balance it, but it was much easier just to do it this way and kind of rock it. So I wish that feature was still there in the Brio. Now, one of the selling points of the Logitech Brio is that it has background removal. The Logitech Brio uses infrared, and I find that at least for me, when I was trying out the background removal feature, didn't work very well. And that could be because I have long hair and there's a lot of detail there. And so maybe it didn't work for me. Maybe it would work better for somebody who has a shorter haircut or wears a hat or something. But I found that that didn't work. However, not a big deal because chroma keying works just fine and you can get something like OBS Studio that is free. And so you can chroma key either in live streams or in recordings like I'm doing here. And I would definitely recommend checking out OBS Studio because Logitech recommends that you use the Windows camera app to record, but that doesn't have quite as many settings compared to OBS, which has the green screen and other kinds of filters that you can apply to your video. Another advantage to using OBS is that you'll have more access to some of the camera controls. It's a little strange that you can't access all of the camera controls, or at least maybe I wasn't able to find them, but OBS let me open the camera settings and then I could adjust the exposure and the gain and I had all kinds of sliders to play with, a lot of which weren't found in the camera settings app that comes with the Logitech camera. So it would be nice if there were more controls available in the Logitech camera control app, but since I'm using this in OBS anyways, it's not a big deal. The Right Light 3 feature works really well. It works like it says it's going to. It's going to balance out your light, and that's nice. The only issue with that, though, is if you're in kind of a low light environment, HDR is going to create a little bit of lag in your video, and so that's kind of the trade-off. Your video is going to look a lot better if it's really dark and the video is really bad, but if that involves bumping up your exposure, then you're going to see more motion trails and your mouth moving will be a little bit delayed and things like that. That isn't necessarily a flaw of the Logitech Brio, that's just how cameras work. When the exposure goes up, the shutter stays open for longer, and so you get more streaky, blurry video. Personally, I find that these cheap softbox lights do the trick and I don't need to use right light because I have the right lights right next to me here. 
And the last con has kind of popped up here and there. Occasionally, when I turn on the webcam, my face is blue. Everything is blue, in fact. And the only way to get it to change to normal colors again is to go into the white balance, turn off auto white balance, and adjust the white balance manually. Then the blue goes away. If the webcam gets turned off and I turn it back on, sometimes it's blue again. So there you have it. That's my review of the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this webcam. It blows my old webcam out of the water. This is a beast of a webcam, and it's gonna give you extraordinary picture quality for your live streams, your recordings, and your digital art videos. And best of all, this isn't a super expensive camera. For a 4K camera, it's actually pretty reasonably priced. Currently, it's priced at only $199, and that is a great deal for a camera. So if you're thinking about getting a camcorder, or a webcam or something to shoot videos with to create YouTube videos. If you're gonna be live streaming and recording videos, consider getting this because on its own as a camera, it actually works really well. I'm gonna be using this a lot, not only for live streaming, but also just recording videos like this where I wanna sit in front of the green screen. It cuts it down on my editing time because I can get this nice chroma key without having to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's saving me time and it's improving the quality of the videos on my channel. So thank you Logitech for making such a killer camera. If you want to get your hands on one of these, I'll put a link down in the video description below. And if you enjoyed this review, take a quick second to like this video. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more tech reviews like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.